well now we need to start actually set right but before we start set uh, what we will do is we will take one small concept called pair there is a one HTL called pair try to understand this pair is used to store the values in the form of a key value right so first value will be what key next value will be what value that's how we generally uh, represent let us take pair I am having int comma int. See, when I say pair, both can be integers. One can be integer, another can be string. One can be character, another can be integer. Both can be strings, both can be anything, right? So now you need to create p. What is the meaning of this statement? We are creating a pair object. So p can hold two, two values, right? So if you want to work with pair, you need to use one header file called utility header file. What is header file? Utility header file right so this is header file so let me write the code here for you hash include hash include utility now i'll create a pair void mean pair int comma int what is the meaning of this statement we are creating a pair where that pair are of integer comma integer type right P. Next, I need to make a pair. How do I make a pair? P is equal to make underscore pair 10, 20. Means what? Now we have created a P where P contains a pair. The pair is what? 10, 20. P contains a pair where the values are what? 10, 20. Now, how do you get the 10 and 20? It's a simple thing for me. See, see out P dot first. C out p dot second right whenever i use p dot first you will get answer as what 10 whenever i use p dot second you will get answer as what 20 this is what we are using in in uh, in a pair concept so what is the target here whenever i want to store a key value pair whenever i want to store a key value pair we use a concept called pair pair stl that pair stl is present in the utility header file and where you need to pass two arguments first two argument we consider as a key second argument we consider as a value right so i defined a pair both can be of any type both can be of any type now i want to make a pair so how do i make a pair make underscore pair 10 comma 20 so c out p dot first will give you first value in the pair second will give you second value in the pair i hope this is very clear fine well now i need to start to what data type set to data type set to data type right there are some properties let me explain the properties here set to data type to work with set we need to include one header file called set dot h right the header file is set fine so now we are going to discuss some important points here right fine what is the first point is duplicates are not allowed What is the first point? Duplicates are not allowed. Next point is elements are stored in increasing order. Elements are stored in increasing order. Elements are stored in increasing order. Increasing order generally we call as a weak ordering. Why are we calling it as a weak ordering? Because that is a predefined nature. That is a predefined nature. Okay. Next thought point. Yeah, duplicates are not allowed. Next, every element in set is in set is constant. Every element in set is a constant. Every element in set is a constant. Now, all these three points I am going to discuss for you, right? See here. Let us take hash include set. Remaining header files also you need to include. Now I am working with set. That is the reason I included set. Next, what can I write in domain? Try to see. Set int s1 
S1 is a set object. In this S1, every element will be what? Unique value. Every element is a constant. Let me write the fourth point. If it is a constant, cannot be modified, right? That's what meaning. Every point I am going to discuss in detail now. Cannot be modified. Okay, fine. Now, S1 is equal to 3, 7, 8, 5, 5, 4, 7, 8, 6, 9, 6, 9, 3. Fine. So, now what I did here, can you please understand? Here, I created a set. I, I am trying to provide every value more than once. Every value more than once. That is the first thing I told. Second thing what I told, uh, try to understand, we cannot modify the value. And what is the next point? All are stored in increasing order. But this is how I created a set. If I try to print this set, how the set will be there? See here. For int ampersand x colon s1 for int ampersand x colon s1 x is a reference how do i do that c out x so what is the output we are going to get this first we are going to get 3 next we are going to get what 4 next we are going to get 5 next we are going to get what 6 next we are going to get 7 next we are going to get 8 next we are going to get 9 so all elements are stored in increasing order can you please tell three programmer provided how many times two times but how many times you got one time why duplicates are not allowed even though you provide duplicates then you are not going to get duplicates it will consider only once seven also you provided two times uh, four one time only five you provided two times six you provide two times nine you provided eight you provide two times every element you are providing more than once but set will consider as a only one strictly speaking this is a set generally this is how we represent right this is a set in this what values are there 3 is there 4 is there 5 is there 6 is there 7 is there 8 is there 9 is there because i provided the values right this is it but there is a small mistake in this program if you write like this you will get errors why you will get error i told every element in the set is a constant every element in the set is a constant so here x is integer type how do you convert the for const int const int ampersand x colon s1 for const int ampersand x colon s1 now i am writing c out x c out x now what is the answer 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 have you seen why this is error because x is a normal integer x is a variable but here x is a constant x is a constant that is what i am telling every element in the set is a constant we cannot change the content in the set the content in the set cannot be changed insertion can be done removing can be done i am telling once you create three three cannot never be converted to five three can never be converted to four understand because already four is there and three itself is a constant i hope this is very clear right every element in the set is a constant value that is what right generally when you have a constant values and unique values we use to represent what keys right why generally everywhere keys are what non-duplicate values and keys are unique values and keys are fixed see if there is an employee called abc employee id is always one abc name is always associated with one if there is another employee called karthik might be the employee id associated is two means two is always associated with id right so keys are non-duplicate values and constant values that's what very important for me okay fine now we'll see some other uh, important functions here okay fine well now we'll see some more functions right it's here void first statement is compulsory see initial examples i'll be writing this one but going forward i'll not write this one i hope this is clear right so int main see int main or void main at the end it's all your wish when you write int main return zero is compulsory that's all well now what i am trying to do now i am going to create a set int s1 try to understand i am going to create set s1 is equal to 30 40 10 20 20 20 30 10 40 50 whenever you write this statement internally what happens 
a set is created in this set first 10 will be there next 20 will be there next 30 will be there next 40 will be there next 50 will be there i hope this is very clear right so the elements are non duplicate the elements are in the sorted order the elements are in the sorted order understand and you cannot modify the content you cannot modify the content let us explain what is the meaning of the trait now see auto it is equal to s1 dot begin what is the meaning of the statement it will point to the first element in the set it will point to the first element in the set what is the proof i can prove you this way see let us take c out star it means what it is pointing to which element get that value so what is the answer you got a 10 this is the first important point you need to notice for example if you are writing star it is equal to triple two you are going to get a compilation error why we are going to get compilation error because we are not able to change the content in the set once you are telling first element is 10 it is always 10 you cannot change the content in the set all the values in the set are constants now let me give you another example so that you get clarity let us take your vector int v is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 right now what i'll take auto 80 is equal to v dot begin auto it is equal to v dot begin now we have created a vector in this vector we are having 10 20 30 right so first point what i am trying to do you know c out star it what is the answer you got 10 we don't have any problem second point what i am letting you know star it is equal to triple two is this valid yes absolutely this is valid absolutely this is valid means what it is pointing to a that value is updated to what triple two from this it is very important point that iterator is of two types one is input iterator and there is output iterator Here, we are sending the data into vector using iterator. We are inputting the data. So, here it is acting as what? Input iterator. Input iterator. Here, we are just sending the output, right? C out means output. So, here it is acting as what? Output iterator. So, in the case of set, every function will return output iterator every function will return what output iterator very important point this is every function will return what output iterator previously also we were discussing iterator types right forward iterator next what we discussed bi-directional iterator next what we discussed random axis iterator do you remember that random access iterator right we have discussed that right so there we are having some properties which we all we discussed earlier later also we'll discuss here we are having some other properties what is the meaning of input iterator using iterator we are able to change the content in the data structure what is the meaning of output iterator using iterator we are able to print the data understand in the vector the iterator is what type input output iterator understand vector what we discussed till now list next what we discussed forward underscore list next what we discussed dq all these iterators are what input output iterators but whereas in the set the iterator is only output iterator i hope this is very clear what is the meaning of output iterator using iterator we are able to print the data but we are not able to modify the data I hope this is very clear, right? So, by default, set will arrange the data in what order? Ascending order. But, 
now i want to arrange the data in a descending order now i want to arrange the data in descending order now we'll try to see how can we arrange the data in the descending order well now i want to create a set i want to create a set where the data must be arranged in what non increasing order right i mean it's a decreasing order non non increasing order or decreasing order same so how do we do that it's easy only see here hash include set next what into main next what set int now listen we need to arrange the data in what manner increasing order so that is the reason we need to use an argument called greater for what int greater for what int so what is the meaning of this statement we are creating a set for integer type by using what comparison greater default comparison in the set is less comparison listen default comparison in set is less comparison less comparison if you don't want default comparison then programmer should write what here greater int greater int understanding so is equal to 31 7 18 19 7 61 42 61 61 61 42 18 7 7 7 when this code is executed we are going to create a set with the unique values and all the values are stored in which manner greater manner means from greater to lower we need to start so what is the biggest value here 61 what is the next biggest value 30 no 42 next 31 if i miss something please let us know 19 18 7 right that's all so 61 is the biggest value next biggest value is 42 next biggest value is 19 and 18 next see how many values you give it is going to create this set this is what the set i got now i hope this is very clear now i want to print the data how do i print the data we already discussed using for const object now i'll, I'll go with another approach that's all right so how can i write set int comma greater int this is what the type for this i need to create iterator i t e r a t o r i t r is equal to oh you write not write variable s1 s1 dot begin now itr will point to the this object and itr end will be here right this is end remember that next what should we do while itr not equal to s1 dot end next what can i write can you please tell me c out star itr and i just want to print a space next what plus plus itr written zero so you can use for or you can use this that's all your wish so now what is the answer we are going to get 61 42 31 19 18 and 7 so now whenever you want to create an iterator whenever you want to create sorry whenever you want to create a set where the values should be in the non increasing order or decreasing order we need to give an argument as greater int very important okay by default comparison in the set is less comparison okay less is a default comparison if you want always less means either you can remove this or you can instead of greater you can substitute what here less less -S less i hope this is very clear right so in the set you can arrange the data in increasing order or decreasing order that's all your wish right based on their customization also you can do this is what the customization they are providing for us i hope this is very clear the comparison is always programmer wish okay fine well now what we have completed we have created a set and we have created greater than also right now we need to start what insert function okay this is a little important listen carefully see i'll just create a set for you set int s1 is equal to 13 27 45 63 yes this is a set 
all values are unique and all we create in the greater that's a good thing actually next what can i do s1 dot insert of 20 s1 dot insert of 20 first see what is we have set the set will contain word 13 27 45 63 listen carefully now try to understand very important point 20 is already available in the set or not available in the set 20 is not available in the set so what it will return it will insert 20 it will insert 20 it will insert 20 understand for example in the future if you write s1 dot insert 20 now programmer really don't know whether the statement inserted the 20 or not right understand 20 is inserted no problem 20 is inserted no problem but when the 20 is inserted here 20 is inserted or not we don't know here also 20 is inserted or not we don't know see before this already in the list if there is 20 this statement won't insert this statement won't insert if there is no 20 this statement will insert but this statement won't insert to know that what it will return no if 20 is already present it will return true it will return what true if 20 is not present it will return false 20 is not present means it will return false i hope this is very clear and try to understand again it will return iterator to 20 again it will return iterator to 20 means if i can take p is equal to understand p should be what type of pair type p should be what type of pair type where the first argument will be what iterator to to 20 iterator to 20 first argument is what iterator to 20 right next second argument will be what second argument will be if 20 is inserted success means s u c c e s success means it will return true failure failure means what false what is the meaning if we are not able to insert 20 why we are not able to insert 20 because 20 is already available understand insert very important so now if you can take p i need to write how if p dot second p dot second right p dot second equal to equal to true true is available in the boolean right true or one you can use what can i write see out insertion success else see out insertion failed that is how you can write here also same thing if you can write this message here in the first case insertion success will come in the second case insertion failed will come that is how we are able to check it so now p is what type of pair type if i want to store a pair we need to use what pair first argument is what type iterator type iterator to set iterator to set right so what is, what i need to write here iterator to set means set int colon colon iterator comma bool p so p is a iterator to set p is a iterator to set i hope this is clear Wait, but pair no p i r but whenever i use pair you need to use one header file what is that one utility remember that you need to use what utility now what we did we are able to insert an element into set and we are having two possibilities one possibility is a success another possibility is a failure now we need to see remaining two more versions of insert let us take this way okay fine set int s1 is equal to 13 27 45 63 now listen carefully let us take auto it is equal to s1 dot begin now I'm writing plus plus it. Whenever I tell plus plus it, it will point here. I hope this is very clear. Now what I'm writing, you know, s1 dot insert of insert of it comma 97. It comma 97. Now listen. So till now we were 
trying to insert a value at a given iterator but set is not that way listen id is just an hint so id we gave here as what 27 right id we gave as what 27 strictly speaking in the set all the value should be what in the insertion order in sorry in the uh, increasing order so what it will do it will come here 97 is less than this value or greater than this value, we will check. If it is less than, it will directly go and insert in the correct position. If it is less than, it will go and insert in this position, right? So, what happens here? 97 is appended here. 97 is appended. So, if you write this statement, what is the output you are going to get? 13, 27, 45, 63, 97. So, IT is considered here as what? A hint whether you need to go to left side insertion or right side insertion. Just we are providing a hint to the insert. For example, if you write S1 dot insert of IT comma 49. What is the meaning of this line? So 49 is also greater than this. So it should go this way and it should in the insert in the correct position. Always we are inserting in the increasing order. It means what is the output will get? 13 will be there. 27 will be there, 45 will be there, 49 will be there, 63. Separate statements. You execute this separately, you execute this separately, right? Fine. So let us take another statement. S1 dot insert of 14. IT comma 14. Means what? 14 is less than 27. Means what? We need to insert left side somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere in the order. So what will you get here? 13 will come, 14 will come. 27 will come, 45 will come, 63 will come. Understand, it's not about before 27, it's not about after 27. After 27, correct position. Before 27, correct position. Correct position is important. So, here ID is called what? Hint. What is the meaning of hint? Whether I need to check in the left side or right side, that is what the helping. We are helping the insert function by providing an hint. This is second version. Now, we will be seeing the third version. Okay, fine. See here. Let us take, I will create a vector for you vector int v is equal to 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. This is a vector, right? Now what I am trying to do, you know, auto i1, i2. Now I created two variables i1 and i2, right? i1 is equal to v dot begin plus 1 means it is pointing here next what i'll do you know i2 is equal to i1 plus 3 let us take some more elements so that you get clarity 10 18 15 now i2 i1 is pointing here plus 3 means what plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 let us take plus 4. That's all. Completed. Now, we know that uh, vector V, this is what the vector we created. It's not necessarily increasing. Vector means array of elements, right? Now, I1 and I2 are pointing to these locations. Now, what I am trying to do, you know, I will create a set for you. Set int S1 is equal to 6, 18, <coughs> 10, 13, 18, 25, 42. This is it. Now, what I am trying to do now? S1 dot insert I1 comma I2. Now, see. I1 to I2. I1 is inclusive. I2 is exclusive. Always I1 is inclusive. I2 is exclusive. Now, try to understand from 5 to 13 I need to insert 5 to 13 I need to insert now what it will do you know 5 is already in the list sorry set no so 5 is inserted next 6 will come next 7 is not there so 7 will come 10 is also not there so 10 will come next 11 see we are trying to insert 13 13 is already there so 13 is not inserted so 13 will come next 18 25 42 means what in this range, if the elements are already present in the set, we are not inserting. If the elements are not present, we are inserting. So that is what? Inserting the values into set. So totally we are having three ways to insert, right? What is the first way? We are inserting a value. 
and we are providing an hint we are providing an hint see if you tell s1 dot insert of 20 we really don't know where 20 is there so what insert will do it starts searching from 13 and goes up to where we don't know right so that's how insert will try to see but here we are providing an hint so when we have hint, we can directly go there and come left or right that's what it means to me right so here fastly we can insert next what range also we are inserting in the range also if the value is not there only we need to insert it